I haven't really watched too much true crime shows, so this is a new venture for me. What I found interesting, in addition to the story itself, is the strong characters in this show. They seem to find people that fit their roles like a hand in a glove. Both investigators, played by Sepede Muafi and Greg Kiniar, and also the two prison inmates, played by Taron Egerton and Paul Walter Hauser, do some very good acting performances in this one. What's unique is how well these four people are casted and how their characters feel very real in a way that many shows don't manage to do. In particular, I also like the chemistry between Egerton and Hauser in those scenes where the latter is the one telling the story. Because in light of that chemistry, you can really feel how much better those scenes are. That Larry Hall character is a man they really have managed to replicate quite well. How he always goes back on the confessions and how he seems like a completely different person from one day to the next. That is one thing this show has made shockingly good. Of course, it is not only a bed of roses. And there's some flaws about this show also. What I do feel they overdo a little much are the flashbacks. In some of the episodes, especially in the fourth episode, I feel they rely on them a bit too much to tell the story. Of course, at times it may give meaning, but the fourth one was an episode I felt was a little messy because of all the flashbacks. The episodes where they downplay the flashbacks, yes, they are still there, like in the fifth episode, but do not steal the real focus of the story. Work better. For character building, I do get it, but sometimes you also see the same flashbacks in the next episode as you saw in the last one. And then the flashbacks kind of lose their true purpose. The sixth episode, where the flashbacks is kind of more told as a traumatic dream from the Jimmy Keen's character's point of view, is one episode where I feel they work much better. Because I like the more intense way they mix awful stuff into the dreams which are not real. The last one is also the best episode. Where Jimmy finally manages to get the last real killing blow. Confession out of Larry. He was hoping to win the appeal but now he wouldn't anytime soon. You also really for the first time saw him as a real beast in the last hour. In the scene where he strangles Jimmy and even his brother realized he couldn't cover for him anymore. But it is a great true crime show in the way it reels you in. Those first three episodes are something that makes you really interested. The story itself is very unique. How another criminal suddenly gets the opportunity of a lifetime. At first of course he is very reluctant. But that's also one fact that makes you very interested and intrigued. Of course this character seems like a real confident man on the surface. But in jail you can see him cry in his cell. After all, one might say, he had been through hell and survived. That's also what I like about the character, that you not only see him on top, but also far down the bottom. Once I tried watching True Detective, but it didn't have the story to hook you in. Like when do you see a drug dealing criminal being sent to another jail to get information from a serial killer? On the surface, that story seems very interesting and you are intrigued from the first minute. I feel also that is in a way other true crime shows don't manage to do, as they are often slower in the pace and the focus is more on the storytelling than the actual acting. Here there is a more balance between them and that's why this show manages to hold you on the line, even if some episodes strike better than others. They also make the jail look like a hell on earth. I don't think anyone would be in that jail they have set up in the show. It looks awful to be there and no wonder Egerton by time gets those awful dreams. The investigation scenes are something they could be working on to make more exciting but the actors at hand, Sepide, Moafi and Greg Kinnear also has a very good chemistry. I feel also that Sepide is one of the best female actors I have seen in a show in a long time. This tough woman that doesn't take no prisoners in Lauren McCauley is one character that she really makes come alive. When I watch this show, I feel like I'm lost in a different world, in a serial killer's mind. And that's why this is a great true crime show. 
So much about him is shocking, and the portrayal of some of his stories are simply really scary. So anyways guys, this is 7 for me, and if you haven't watched the show, you should really start today.